Uh, my son-in-law mentioned uh, her, but I tell you, if I was not blessed by the word of the Lord that was preached here last Thursday night, oh God. It, uh, the word that she ministered strengthened my resolve and uh, pressing on. And I'm, I was just pressing forward. And I tell you, uh, Evangelist Simon Chuku, the Lord has anointed you and has given you something special. And that was a powerful, powerful uh, word. If you haven't heard it, please go out there and uh, listen to it. And uh, it will bless your soul. And... Uh, just point on, dealing with the issues of our times and some of the double messages that are being sent by many whom God have elevated, but they're more self-centered than they are church-centered. Um, um, I, I, I do ask, uh, is it possible? I, I do have this question for the, the uh, gospel music industry, the the church ministerial. Is it possible? How raunchy, how vulgar, how obscene, how much dope does a person have to smoke? How much profanity does the person have to use? How low can they go? How short and how tight uh, must the dresses be? before you will say there's something in me in terms of my standard that just won't let me perform with you. Is there a bottom? Is there, is there a line? Um, um, uh, you know, how, how low? How, do they have to uh, 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 be a Dylan Ruth? Uh, 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 Maybe, maybe the only requirement is for them to be a Trump. But if you curse and smoke dope and do the gangster thing and swear and cuss and shake your rump and all that, we can overlook all of that. Vanity laced music, call our women bees and hoes. We can overlook all of that and perform with them. But if an artist lets it slip out, I believe that uh, homosexuality is wrong. Then, and the world jumps on that artist like they did Kim Burrell none of the gospel artists would come to her rescue. But these same people will sing with Snoop Dogg and Minaj and others like that. I want to know, is there a bottom? It, the question is, is there a standard? Apparently not. And what about the double message that we're sending to our children? Crystal did a tremendous job saying Thursday night, she pointed to us and said, many of you don't have that tri trial. You, you, many of us, you know, we here who are grown, I like to think, and sanctified, we, we're not going to be influenced by Snoop Dogg one way or the other. Uh, Mickey Minaj doesn't even appeal to us. Uh, her sound, their music, that's not, that's not, that's not you, know, you know it's not my sound. I can't, I can't tell you one thing that they sing. But to our young people who are struggling with this, who this is their music, this is their day, and they're struggling to obey the church and try to have a standard and, and, and dress holy and, and conduct themselves like a child of God, I would like to ask the artists, the Christian artists, are you giving any thought to the double message that you're sending to uh, young, uh, impressionable uh, 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 church folk 
who are trying to live holy, who are trying to save sex for marriage, who are trying to not do drugs, not make the, make the bad decision, who are trying to look like somebody while you uh, having, quote, made it. it. It put you on Good Morning America. Bravo. It, it, it is giving, getting you, you're gaining the acclaim of the world. But at what expense? I'll tell you this, and I'll go to my text. I'll tell you this. The one thing that the early church would not forgive its parishioners for was betrayal, was selling out. You would be shunned if you if when it's time to lay it all on the line, you sold out, they would not even welcome you again into the congregation. Some of these people would never be welcomed because when, it's time, when it was time to stand, they wouldn't make a stand. And to these artists, the most vulnerable uh, to all of these vices in society, the most vulnerable community is African American. I mean, all the, the measurable standards point that out. So we, it, it, that's, that's not even a matter of debate. Praise the Lord. Well, whites and others do things too. Yeah, but aren't we the ones who complain that in the criminal justice system that others might get more chances than we? So if that's the case, wh why then not encourage them to be smart and to look like somebody and dress like somebody? If, if that is in fact the case, then why toe or walk the line? Why not inspire our young people to look like someone? Amen. To use language that will promote them. To make decisions that will promote them. Say amen. amen. I wonder what has happened uh, to many of our so-called leaders. Amen.